Hi guys, welcome to another video from Paul here at CCTV Systems UK. Today we're going to talk about these things. These are S-Pro Colour Night IP cameras. Now, I've got three out for you to have a look at. Um, these are definitely the best sellers. Um, you should know who S-Pro are by now. Um, S-Pro are a British company and obviously all their equipment is based on the Dower chipset. Um, so... It's proven, it's reliable, it's technology that's out there and has been out there for some time, so we like that. Now, these IP cameras, I'll walk you through them, what they all do and what the subtle differences are between them. So, firstly, what is the quality of the camera? So, the picture itself. Now, the one on the left here, the smaller one, is the 4 megapixel IP camera. This camera here in the middle is a 5 megapixel IP camera and the one on the right that looks just like the one previously is the 8 megapixel 4K camera. So that's the quality of the lenses that are inside them and when let's talk about lenses, let's talk about the actual width of the picture that you can achieve, the width of the lens. All three have super wide 2.8 millimeter lenses so that's good, we do like the 2.8s. Now as they are IP colour night, this means that of course they have the white light arrays on the front of the cameras and stay 24 hours in colour. They are all rated to 30 metres. The only difference being on the smaller to mid dome here on the left hand side, this is achieved with two white light LED arrays. Whereas on these two versions, it's the light on the right hand side not this one on the left. I'll explain a bit more about that later. So these have got single arrays and that's because these are here as well. Whereas on this version, because it doesn't have that little light there, it has a twin light array, 30 meters. I've tested them, I've installed them. They're not claiming anything that it does not do. On top of that, they all have the little tiny pin pricks in the top of them, which is of course a built-in microphone. So all three have microphones built in. All three are IP cameras, so it can be used with an NVR or without, meaning they are standalone cameras. Uh, so obviously, you can put one of these upon its own as a unit without an NVR. Now, to be a proper standalone camera, they must have a little slot inside them for a memory chip so that they can record internally inside the camera. All three have memory slots. The only difference is the smaller dome has the memory slots on the top and these two have them underneath. Uh, other than that, there's no difference at all. Um, this is where it starts to get a little bit different. The memory chip that I've just talked about, its docking station is underneath on these two. And the reason why it's underneath is next to that little dock, there is also a built-in speaker, which this one doesn't have. And that's because these cameras are active deterrent. And that means that that little light on the left-hand side that we uh, pointed at earlier on is a blue and red flashing beacon. So if someone comes into an area that you've specified, the camera will send a notification through to you if you've networked the camera. This red and blue pulsating light will go off and the speaker will go off either as a siren or it has 10 to a dozen uh, presets, uh, warnings in there, such things like warning you are on the surveillance, do not park here, you know, that type of thing. Or you can upload your own little file of whatever warning you want to give when someone is in that area. And because these are active deterrent cameras, they also are AI technology. So they've got artificial intelligence in them, which means they can look for humans and vehicles, both in intrusion and line crossing detection modes and in smart motion detection modes. Excellent technology, very well proven. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail today because I'm going to do side-by-side -side tests on these particular cameras and I'll put a link into the uh, description to show you each picture. And what you'll do is you'll just be diverted through to our Facebook page, CCTV Systems UK. But there's one thing that I must specify straight away because, you know, this is really important. 
these cameras are of a metal cast variety. They are not plastic. And anybody who's seen our videos knows that it doesn't matter who the manufacturer is, you will get ridden pretty hard by us if you bring a plastic camera onto the market because they are not vandal proof. These metal cast cameras have the tiny little retaining screws in the front of them so you can tighten the screws down and of course that means the domes can't be moved out of the way and that's what we want that's what makes a camera vandal proof so there's your three cameras a four megapixel a five megapixel ai pro obviously active deterrent and another ai pro which is an eight million megapixel with active deterrent so keep an eye on the um description the links may take me a couple of days to put on because, of course, I've got to test these. I like to do a day and night image on all of them, so it could it could take a week. And we are very busy at the moment. Um, somebody has asked me which is my favourite. Um, I don't usually talk about this on YouTube videos, but uh, it's that one. I like the 5 megapixel AI Pro, there's nothing wrong with the 8 megapixel, it's a really good picture, I like this, it's so warm is the picture on this one and of course because it's uh, an active deterrent camera with the flashing light, the speaker, things like that, it's brilliant, it really is and of course just talking about the speaker, remember we've got a microphone here and the speaker there which means you've got genuine two way talk back on your CCTV system by simply pressing the talk through button on your mobile device so that's my favorite my personal favorite but if you're talking about sales that of course is the most popular even though it doesn't have the active deterrent built into it and it doesn't have you know the flashing lights and the speaker it is priced correctly because nevertheless it is still a standalone four megapixel camera with a built-in microphone and it takes a chip so you can hold on to it directly so sales wise that's the winner that's my personal favourite, but there's nothing wrong with this camera, but as you can imagine, it's dearer than the 5 million megapixel, and it's all about budget, like everything else with CCTV. So, that's your quick overview of the S-Pro Colour Night cameras. The two uh, on the right-hand side there have the active deterrent, the one on the left doesn't, but they are priced correctly to actually show you that that is what is going on. So, this is Paul logging off at CCTV Systems UK. You all stay out of trouble and stay safe. And I'll put that link on in the next six to seven days with all the pictures of these cameras and you can make your mind up for yourself. Bye-bye now.